www.streetcredmagazine.com We're at the Goldery in the Arcadian Centre in the city centre, Birmingham. Um, well, I've been in the jewellery business now for 27 years. Um, we manufacture jewellery, um, make special uh, one-off pieces for customers. Um, we've since now broadened our range. Uh, we've gone into more diamonds. So we've done a lot of gents, ladies, diamond bracelet rings, earrings, pendants, um, chains as well. And we've widened our selection in watches where we're doing like Rolex and Cartiers, Brett Lins, um, Jacob watches. We brought in uh, the G-Shock watches as well, which is the latest flavor at the moment. Shambola bracelets, uh, Aquamaster watches. The passion for jewelry was um, injected into me by my older brother years ago. Um, I used to watch him around the bench and uh, he used to make one-off pieces and then I used to take them out on the road and sell them and make a little extra change for myself. And then from there it progressed into jewellery parties and from there I opened this shop here which have been here now coming up to our 25th year and um, everything has just been great. Oh, the musical side, that's Love Injection, which everybody knows. <laughs> yeah. The UK's number one sound system. Um, you know, with guys like Zuki and Billy, Mexi, Coco, um, the whole crew. Um, there's a lot more people. We're about 20 people strong at the moment. <laughs> um, that's doing really well. We're worldwide at the moment. That's We've been right. in Jamaica, did a little tour in Jamaica. Um, we've got things happening in Europe, um, also in America. Um, we've got a few more clashes coming up this year and we've started a, a 45 shot lock event that's the last Friday in every month down at the drum and that's doing quite well so feel free to come and listen to Love Injection if you haven't for a while. And 10 years from now I want to be the jeweller for Birmingham and that's what I'm programming so look out for this space because it's serious space. Tease me, tease me, tease me baby, baby <laughs> until I lose control. Oh. www.streetcredmagazine.com Hello, I'm Kim, I'm from Shop Design and Print. We do all different kinds of printing, basting, soot and coal field. Yeah. You can get us on our Hotmail account on strawberrybrinkhotmail.co.uk or the phone number 0121 241 4330. Any questions, just give us a call. How you doing? My name is Instructor Mikey Spice. Yes, Mikey Spice. I'm here to spice you up. I'm telling you about Zumba. Zumba is a Latin form dance aerobic workout. So that means you party all night long, and that's an Oceana nightclub. It starts the 3rd of July, and it's the first Sunday of the month. A once a month party, okay? We host all the best talents, okay? And it's three hours of Zumba. <laughs> I want you to go to www.bodysharp.com where you can buy the tickets. Doors open at 6 and end at 9. I'll see you at the party. It's art. The tattoo business is booming, especially if you're dude. Everybody is raving about Vivid Ink based on Smallbrook, Queensway, Birmingham. This has only been going for six months and has far exceeded Andy's expectations. I just love tattoos, I always have. Um, it's just one of those things which I've always wanted to do, always thought would be you know, a good thing to attach to my companies. It's just something I've always wanted to do. Um, not very long, this is our sixth, fifth, fifth month. Yeah, fifth month. I've got a great team of artists. They're all specialists in their individual fields or experts in what they do. I run the place and I let them do what they do. Um, like I say, we've got a wealth of talent who've come from you know loads of different backgrounds, loads of different experiences. Um, we've seen everything from every different angle, um, and we just have a you know a unique approach to what we do. We have a great customer service. We we do it in a different way. We you know we just do it different. I mean, it took about two weeks, three weeks for us to get our name out there, and once we did, then it just kind of flew from there. We had some real inspirational people from Birmingham, had a lot of support from all of our clients when they're seeing the work we're doing. Um, they understand the approach we're trying to go for, and everyone was just big us up and shouting about us and the words just spread like wildfire really. When you do good work and, and you know good clients you want to tell everyone the word just spreads. Also it's really we get loads of you know people who are in the clubbing scene, in DJing, a lot of old school people as well, you know, all sorts really. Literally, wow. all sorts. For the foreseeable future we're gonna stay here. Uh, you know I'm not saying in the future there's not gonna be other venues that will be but for the foreseeable future then we're just gonna be based in Birmingham. 
Hear these voices, I'm making a statement. Things happen for a reason. Blatant, out the blue, I'm true. I'm chasing my dream right through to the end. Don't need to offend, cause I'm a god sense. Not in the past, I'll be moving fast. I graph not saf, not thick. I grip to the vibe, never stiff. Pleasing, like, visualize that video inside. My top keys out, stay tight, stay bright. I'm on this tank every time, making my peace and man. Yes, I would do this thing with the CDs. When I sell them to people, I'm a piece every day. I'm on this thing, Monday to Friday. Making peace in the Birmingham city center. I'll put the mark, man, doing this thing every time. See my back, that's where I get my money from. Trying to swear down, yeah, with the Dwayne. Doing this thing every time, brother turn all my knee when I spend my piece. Five bills now, G, don't give a fuck, yeah, simple and easy. Yeah, with the SE, making the CD, selling the CD right now, yeah, with the girlies. I love them, yeah, get numbers every time. I'm a killer, yes, money maker, I'm a villa, yes, drummer bass, fucking raver, sick geezer, yes, anything every time with the SE. Say hello to the camera, yes, yes. my root boy, yeah. I'm blessed, can't test, because I've been there making beats on the streets for a long time, trust me. When I speak, you'll seek more, and you got it coming. I represent the West Winds and I get girls that are stunning, real lucky. Be, that's me, can't lie. Best believe that I'ma use this chance as it might be the last that I get. So no one won't regret when I step into the firing range. Gotta say one or two things in my life could change. Don't think you can hold me down like Prince William. I'm destined to wear the crown because I've mastered being a little bastard. Used to get plastered, but I don't anymore. Yo, www.streetcredmagazine.com. I'm Lady Raw and you're locked into Street Cred TV. I'm just real. If I like you, I like you. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to pretend I like you, sit around and smile with you when I don't. And I say it how it is. Whether you're my friend or not, I'll tell you if I think you're in the wrong. Some people either like me or you don't, innit? It's, there's no in-betweens. If you don't like me, I don't give a f Whoever knows me and gets along with me, they like me. If you don't like me, then f you. Boy, the baseline's died out right now, you know. It's just like gone. There is no baseline. The police have come, locked it off, f***ed it up. Of our nights, it's shit. They have imitation nights, but it's never been the same since about three years ago. The only thing with baseline is it's hit and miss, isn't it? Some of the tunes, the too hardcore people are like, oh, it causes trouble and beef, and there, there have been incidents, shootings, stabbings, deaths. You can possibly see why they have locked it off, but on the flip side, there are people like myself and my girls, the ROD crew, who do like to have a good night. Well, we're just naturals, aren't we? We bring the spirit. Wherever we are, the party is, isn't it? We set the trends. We could walk in two by two and <laughs> get the attention. We don't do nothing. It's just the moves. We're outgoing people, you know. We know how to get a vibe going. Um, you do get attention from guys sometimes. Some are nice, some ain't. You know, not when we were well, anyway. When me and my friends go out, we don't go out like we have to go look a man like some skets or whatever. No, it's not like that. We're just going out to enjoy ourselves. We're not looking, no man. Basically, yeah, people come over, all your good skanker, they want to vibe with us and party with us, that sort of thing. Might bust the moves, show me how to do that move, that sort of thing. Oh, you won't like to know. I just put him in the place one time and tell him. If a boy touches me, I tell him what. Don't make me have to box you now, because if I was to box you, yeah, what are you going to say? You've got no right to put your hands on me. So if I was to box you like I've got no right, you shouldn't have touched me. What? Oh, that's not very nice, you know. Um... What I will say, yeah, is some women, yeah, I'm not saying, I don't, I don't agree with it myself, but some women, yeah, they put their hand on men and shit like that, and I don't think that's right. I don't think it's right for a woman to hit a man thinking, oh, yeah, he won't be able to hit me back, or whatever, whatever. If you're right taking the piss out of the man, some girl do deserve licks, especially them trash baby mothers that don't go home and don't look after the youth. Beat them clout, yes. The things that you two exposed to now are kind of different to the things that we are exposed to. So there's a lot more choices and a lot more negative choices. I just think it's instilling things into your children, having good role models as well. And if there's, if there's a role model in the family, you kind of, even if you're talking to your child, you kind of use them as an example, so something they can see. Today's hip hop culture is just whatever in it. It's like, it's whatever, it whatever it sells, and a lot of the madness sells. There's people who argue, old school hip hop heads who argue about Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, Drake, Nicki Minaj, and whatnot. But the Nazis, the Talib Qualis, the Commons, and this and that, they're not putting out as music as fast as these people. If you're on whatever side you're on of what you want to represent, you know what I'm saying? You have to do it. You have to do it to the death, you know what I'm saying? You have to do mm -hmm. it hard, because Ross and Wayne probably done about 60 verses already this year. There's, no there's not too much conscious rappers that are putting out that amount of music, because a lot of the people who do, who do stuff that's probably not so positive, 
they're fucking hard working at it. Mm. So www.streetcredmagazine.com Malik MD7, big up Street Cred TV. Two mocking fucks, watch out for it, yeah? One. They know already, are. I am Ninja, Mark the Way, Street Cred TV. Don't even know the TV, television, no, Street Cred, you get me? We said, we rep, big bro, 0121, hang tight the man them, hang tight the gal them, Street Cred TV, MDG, I am Ninja. Everybody was on Blackberry, all the youths. But I'm Blackberry, I confiscated about eight Blackberries. <laughs> Oh, street cred TV, street cred. MDG, Grim than MC, SRE. <laughs> yeah. Big up Street Cred magazine, yeah? Big up Street Cred. Anything test, drop like lead. Are you me, sir? Yeah, man. Original, <laughs> great public ranks, as I tell you. www.streetcredmagazine.com Looking like the star of the show. Coming through with the style on the flow Let me see you get down on the flow Now give me more when you have Peter Andre come to your hair salon to do a feature on his TV show, you know you're doing something, right? 25 year established business, Salon Revolution in Arcadia and Birmingham, taking Afro to the next level. How, Michael? I want to say Afro European. I mean, I mean, taking Afro, taking the ghetto ness out to Afro, taking Afro to the next level. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't want, I didn't want an atmosphere where it was very, very ghetto, where you know you had all the pat, where you had all the all, all that yeah. kind of ambiance. Because I've done that with the T-shirt, yeah. <laughs> been in the business for twenty odd years. Okay. Um, wanted to take it to another level because I felt that there was a need for a professional Afro air salon in the city centre and I checked my email and um, it was forwarded to me by somebody else and I checked it and I responded straight away and that's how it happened. Within the, within the few days Peter Andre was in here filming. I, it was a mind-blowing experience actually because he, he's, you know, he's a very down-to-earth person um, and very very modest. Um, he was a it was a great laugh, and the, the, the kind of interaction that he, that, that he had with us, with the staff, was absolutely excellent. Um, that itself was also second to none. Yeah. Every clients were here. Everybody was here. The, the salon was actually a full. It was a full busy wow. salon. So everybody actually got uh, got a piece of the experience of Peter Andre being in this establishment. Robinson MC Stormer. I stay real to the ground from a mix of a formula. I've also got heart on an article. My mentality's deep, I'm sparky. Real predicaments get to party, but I'm surviving. Haters are craving, watching and waiting. Cause karma will fade them, always believing. Never see me grieving, I'm steaming. I can see that venom in the eyes, don't twist it, I'm paralyzed. I'm not hypnotized, I'm on this ground realize. My thoughts not negative, I am positive. Always selecting, never be rejecting. I ain't slipping, or be stressing. God is a blessing www.streetcredmagazine.com Talk of the town, city centre Martinu Square, opposite Sainsbury's. This is authentic Caribbean food with amazing quality service, fast and efficient. Who's behind this? My name's Patrice Black and I live in Erdington, Birmingham. When I moved into the food business I thought, well what am I going to do? Is this something that I, have, I need to do that isn't offered by other food establishments but it's popular and I thought to myself well, everyone likes pasta 99% of people like pasta you can have variations of how you like your pasta uh, and also on top of that we do like uh, beef lasagna, chicken lasagna, macaroni cheese which is all very popular as well and because the different variations of food it attracts a different variety of clientele um, so we've got a, a wide mix of, of the people population that come in and come in and buy food. So at the moment I'm not you know singing from 